Good evening. It's the Orlando Gardner coming at you. I hope y'all having a good one. Well, here we have today a very, very long awaited video on how to grow mangoes from seed. This is coming from experience. I've been wanting to do this video a long, long, long time. But I had to wait to the proper time as I did with the video of slowing mango growth down or mango tree growth down by grafting in two places or dwarfing them. I had to wait for time and production to happen. And the same way I had to wait for this. Uh, here in front of you, you have three seedlings. What type of seeds? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't label them. My, my friend Rob, he, he's good at it. Uh, you've seen him on some of my videos or one of my videos and he's good at labeling. I don't, I just keep the seeds, plant them and let it go. <laughs> but, uh, these are three examples of three different phases of uh, mango tree development. And we're going to go through the whole thing here. Um, and I can speak from experience now because I, I now have my own trees producing um, that have been developed from seed. Okay, of course, first, first of all, we're surely starting from seed. And this is surely not a viable seed. Here's an old seed that was just tossed onto the uh, on the ground. But I just wanted to use this as an example. You know, taking this seed, opening opening up this seed right here, splitting it, open it up. Wait a minute, this thing might be good. <laughs> it is good. It's green. Wow. What a surprise. I didn't plan this, y'all. I promise you, I didn't plan this. Well, it's a good seed. Well, that's perfect. Thank you, Lord. We're taking a viable seed. Now, I can either take this and put it in a wet paper towel, and I've tried all of the methods, put it in a wet paper towel, and, <laughs> and, uh, Caitlin, you okay? Okay. And putting it in a Ziploc bag for a few days, a few weeks, maybe even a month for some. And waiting till the roots develop real well and sometimes even small, very, very uh, weak leaves start to happen. You can do it that way. And I'm talking about from my experience. Or you can do what I'm doing now, which is I go and I plant seeds next to trees. There are a lot of little baby mango trees that are out here in my garden that are planted next to trees now. You can do that or you can get trays. I have tons and tons of baby mango trees in trays. Trays here. They're all over the garden. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> Yes, and I also have trees that are growing that I've just taken the seeds and put them in the ground next to trees. So, again, either way, or you can take them and do what I've done in these two pots, which is place them in a pot and see what they do. Now, um, this is phase one. And this is around the time that some people graft. Everybody graft differently. Uh, that's if you go on the route of grafting. Uh, when they're like this, uh, in order for them to get the maximum amount of watering, I don't put a lot of dirt in the pot. I leave the pot fairly shallow. And then, was that a worm? And then I go from there and I... I lift the tree up as the tree grows. As you can see, this tree is a whole lot bigger in that tree. I lift the tree up and I add more soil and 
And then and again, this is the phase where a lot of people uh, do uh, their grafting, if so. Uh, and I do graft uh, at times uh, and I'm decently successful, but I have my failures too. And then I've also tried grafting them and I've, I've done well at grafting them at that age. But anyway, these are three different sizes and different phases of the the tree growth. And if you're going to grow from seed uh, at this particular stage right here is when I start clipping and snipping. And here at this point, I would if I wanted to keep this one for growing it into a full grown tree that produces, I would snip it right here. I don't snip it down here. I wait till it get a few different, you know, one, two, three different growth flushes, maybe even four. It's according to the uh, degree of growth from each seed because all mango tree seeds grow differently. Some grow faster than others, but at about this phase is where I start to snip so that the tree can start going out instead of up. And, and again, once it get, again, this tree, once it get this size, then I start snipping even more. As you can see, I snipped it there. I pruned it, snipped it, pruned it. I snipped it there. And I snipped it there. And this is for this tree to start going out, going out, going out. Actually, it's time for this to be snipped again. It's time for it to be cut here because I want I want a bush. I want it to be bushy and not tall and leggy. Uh, after the tree get about two feet tall, after the snipping, then I take it up to about a five gallon pot. And from there, at the gain about a foot, I take it up into about a seven gallon pot. And I keep my trees in a seven gallon pot forever. If they're going to be a fruit, a fruit tree that produces directly from seed. So now we're going to go and Caitlin is over there playing, having a good time. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> Hi and keep going. Okay. All right. We're going to go over to. Hello, Peace Cobbler. We're going to go over here. Now I got to do up. Oh. We're going to go over here to Casey. I kept Casey in a 15 gallon pot for about four years. That's Casey now. I kept her in a 15 gallon pot for about four years. And then I upped her into a 15 gallon pot. And when I did that, she exploded. Somebody said, well, what about root bound being root bound? I wasn't worried about that. I, I just, I went by the look of the tree. Uh, the tree looked healthy and it was fine. So I, I that's, that's the way I do it. And, after, uh, let's see, for a couple, uh, another year, I then in turn made up in my mind it was time for it to go in the ground. And I put it in the ground, and this tree is a result of growing a mango from seed. This tree produced fruit this year. It produced fruit this year, and the fruit was good. It was good fruit. Uh, I did leave two limbs on it growing up now most people what they do is uh they cut one of the limbs so one can be dominant and it can go ahead and do its thing but i kept in mind that i didn't want a giant tree and so uh i left it that way so it can be growth control uh instead of the tree sending all this energy to one particular limb uh because i remember the mother tree uh, I just left two and encouraged the two so that it will, you know, have energy uh, trying to push out on either side. And so it produced it produced. Now, what I found is I found that keeping it in a uh, pot for years, I was able to uh, really, really give it the nutrients that it needed. Hi, Caitlin. 
I'm coming. Yeah, I was just doing a video. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we will. That's no problem. You want bubble guppy? All right, just wait. And so, uh, I, I waited, and um, and actually, uh, Casey ended up producing uh, a couple of years early. It was only six years uh, uh, to the point from from seed from this. To this, to this, to this, to this, where I just took you to. And it can be done. It, it can be done, and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I have other trees in production right now. As a matter of fact, this one in front of you <laughs> is one of them that'll never get grafted. Uh, that actually is a seedling of lemon meringue. And um, because lemon meringue produces such great fruit, I'm looking to see if something, uh, something similar to lemon zest or uh, orange sherbet will come out of it. So we'll be we'll be watching this one for a few years and uh, checking to see what it does. But it can it can be done. All you uh, all you have to do is just take some time, be patient, nourish your trees, make sure your trees are healthy at every phase, every phase. Make sure it's healthy. And uh uh, Caitlin, don't do that. Don't put dirt in this water um, and make sure that it is healthy. Uh, give it its nutrients. I'm constantly putting fish emulsion in here. And and so on so that the tree, as you can see, this this is very happy. Caitlin. I'm trying to do a video. Okay. No problem. And you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so this is Orlando Gardner coming at you. And this is just one of the trees that I have coming up uh, that I'm looking for to come up from seed. Most of the uh, most of the seeds that I have now uh, that I'm looking for uh, new fruit to come from are from the wonderful wonderful ice cream mango tree uh i love that that's ice cream mango is is something else so i have quite a few trees uh that are coming up and i'm looking for them to produce something in five to six years uh and we're gonna do some taste testing so i want to do this video to encourage those that are trying to uh do new fruit tree production uh, that you can do it to just take a little something. You have to be patient. And again, I found out that keeping them in a pot for so long, they really get the nutrients that they need in order to be a successful tree at an early age. I really believe that keeping that, uh, keeping my trees in a pot, uh, for quite a long time, um, has, uh, caused them to be able to produce in six years instead of the eight to 15 years that is normal. Okay, so this is the Orlando Gardner coming at you. Been waiting to do this video for quite some time and I got trees producing from seed now. And uh, I wanna say y'all be safe, be happy, take care of your families and pray. Y'all have a good one.